God. Hey guys, this is Darian Gonzalez here, and I just came back home from school to yet again find some more news for Sonic Lost World. Yes, I'm kind of frustrated right now because new information always comes out when I'm in school, doesn't it? And also, Sega said the trailer would be released tomorrow, but unfortunately it came out today, so... Wait, why am I complaining about that? So let's go get on with what we discovered today. Well, from the trailer, I'm reminded of the classic series from the trailer. Sonic's animations, how the uh, world looks, the Flecky's returning. Somehow it reminds me of the classic series. What do you guys think? And also, I see... Um, it's kind of like the um the modern gameplay that we already have but with no boost. Yeah, people complained about the boost, but I don't have a problem with it, so don't hate me for it. It's just I'm not saying I prefer the boost, but at least I would like if it was still there, but it seems like it won't be anymore. But I don't care. But it seems like there's a new system in there because of some of the some of the things Sonic was doing, so I don't know. But here's some of the news I did find out today from a source. So for Sonic Lost Worlds, it seems like Takachi Izuka is pr producing the project. So maybe this is the new direction he wanted to take the Sonic games to? I don't know. And here's some bad news for you guys that really want to have multiple characters, but it seems like only Sonic is playable. Yeah, sorry guys. If you guys want to see Tails, Amy, and Knuckles, expect them to make appearances in cutscenes, maybe? Because this is all I got. Tails, Amy, and Knuckles to make appearances in the game. But here's some good news. There's a confirmed E3 appearance, so hopefully if I, am, if I am able to go to E3, they'll have a playable demo, so I can at least try the game for myself, and maybe bring you guys some gameplay if I can. And it seems like it's confirmed that the that there will be full 3D levels for the 3DS version, so no 2D nonsense, even though I do kind of prefer the 2D system for handhelds. but. At least now we get the 3D Sonic experience on the on a handheld system, the Nintendo 3DS, and it makes sense if you think about it. So it seems like the Lost World is named the Lost Hex. Lost Hex? Well, it seems like a lot of stuff in the planet is are hexagon shaped, but Lost Hex? I think Sega can think of a better name. That's what I think. Red Rings return to unlock content, so I think the Red Rings will have a purpose like they did in Sonic Generations, except I don't know if it's unlocking concept art or I doubt music, but we don't know yet. The, we probably just got new information about the game, so Red Rings will return. Let's see if they actually do something instead of Sonic for Episode 2 where they're just there. Apparently, there will be gold cannons that unlock secret paths. Gold cannons? Is that um? The, is that how alternate routes are gonna work, or shortcuts? Because that kind of seems rather gimmicky to me if you think about it. I don't know. There are two confirmed zone names at the moment: Wind Hill and Desert Ruins. Hmm. Wind Hill is what we saw on the trailer already. So, but to be honest, Wind Hill looks more like a um, looks like it's loosely based off of Green Hill Zone to me, because of the grass and then the um, checkerboard. 
you know, everything looks, it reminds me of Green, Green Hill. And Desert Ruins, I, I, assuming that must be the desert level, but we don't see that yet. Hopefully at E3 they'll show something. And apparently, it says D-pad will start Sonic walking and gamepad triggers running and rolling. I don't own a Wii U yet, so I don't know how, what what Sega means by the gamepad. If anybody who's watching does own a Wii U, tell me what do they mean by gamepad, because I'm kind of confused on that. I'm kind of confused on how that works. The gamepad triggers running and rolling seems like something I'm going to have to uh, get used to, a gameplay a choice. What powers are going to be coming back in Gamepad Trigger Zone? What's powers from Sonic Colors, eh? I hope they're not as g gimmicky as they were in um, Sonic Generations for Planet West because in Sonic Generations, the West powers were mandatory and that was dumb. They, sh they should make the West powers optional like they did with Sonic Colors, which I hope they will do. But yeah. West powers are coming back, but will they be the same Wisps as before, or will they be brand new ones? I don't know. One could only guess. And support mode included. I might be able to read something about support mode, if, but if I don't, I apologize. But I think some of you guys can um do some more research for me, because I'm just doing all what I found today, because I'm just rushing it. Yes, I know that quality is greater than quantity. I know that. But bear with me. I'm just starting out. So, don't blame me. Right now, I'll be reading some quotes of what the game will be about, at least. So, so now, I guess it's time for story time with Darian Gonzalez. So, now, I'm going to be reading what I have here. Sonic Team's greatest challenge was maintaining a sense of speed for the series while finding controls that made sense. The result is now there. By default, Sonic doesn't burst off of a tilt of the analog stick. He walks, until you use one of the gamepad's triggers. Oh, the triggers, alright, never mind about what I said about commenting. I was confused. Alright, I'm gonna continue on. The gamepad's triggers to engage his running speed. This tool too is actually not full speed. Holding down a second trigger will pull Sonic into a ball, giving him access to his full momentum, which Izuka likened to the boost speed from previous titles. So I think Sonic Lost World's will, gameplay will be inspired from the classic series, which I did mention earlier. By creating a tiered structure to movement, Sonic Team is hoping players will be able to navigate the wide range of level designs, exploring and running as necessary. That seems interesting. That's also where the parkour system comes to play. Parkour! 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 I'm sorry I had to do that. In previous 3 Sonic games, even if you're running through the level top speed, if you hit an obstacle you stop instantly, Izuka explained. To avoid this, we added a new action to keep Sonic running even when you hit an obstacle, to make sure it only happens when you want it to. It's triggered by the player holding the run button. Like any game, automating actions brings a certain risk, but doing nothing means Sonic games continue to run into a brick wall, literally in the case of gameplay. So that means I'm gonna have to look more into this, cause some of the, some of these gameplay choices are kind of confusing me a bit. But I'll probably catch on once more information comes out, and if I'm able to um play a, a demo at E3, if I go there, assuming that the story itself is, as you expect, remarkably simple. Sonic is chasing his longtime foe, Eggman. Eggman did not appear in the trailer though, and he's stuck in that white world. Does he come back? And encounters a mysterious floating island known as Lost Hex, which is still a dumb name to be honest. It's here where Sonic will run across the deadly six that Sega has already teased, which are those six guardians that were, were teased of being friend or foe, but seems like the foes 
so yeah. And Izuka noted these foes will bring a sense of danger and humor to the story. Yeah, we've seen that on the trailer already, but if it seems like the story will be reminiscent of a Saturday morning cartoon, it might be good. I don't guarantee it, but it might be good. So that's why that's what I have for today. So if anybody wants me to continue doing this, I will on my own time, and especially since summer is coming up, I'll have plenty of time to do these kind of videos and when information is recently released by then I'll be able to do it at once rather than oh I gotta wait till after school. So, yeah and I'm sorry if I've been stuttering along the um yeah like I am doing now. I'm sorry if I keep pausing and stuff. I still need to get used to it. So bear with me guys. I think that's about it so yeah. This is Darian Gonzalez, and I'll see you guys in another video. Later. <laughs> oh, oh no. parkour, parkour!